the test is tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow, March 10th. So today we are gonna review a little bit um, units seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so I want you to please open your students books to unit seven, lesson A. Unit seven, lesson A. Oh yes, I need to share my screen. Unit seven, lesson A. I need you to go to this, the, the grammar chart, which is on page 67, 67. Manu, you have this page, right? Not in this moment. I have a, a part of the uh, 78 ah, in this moment. Okay, okay. okay but no it's problem. okay. I, I, I see. Yeah, just, just take notes with us, okay? Yes. All right, so look, in this, in this lesson, which is unit seven, lesson eight, we talked about um, going away, vacations, right? And in this lesson, the objective was to give reasons, okay, to give reasons using to plus verb, okay? Using to plus verb and Another objective is to give opinions using its plus adjective plus to plus verb, okay? Reason, reasons, reasons, reasons. Okay. For example, uh, why do you eat healthy? I eat healthy to lose weight. Okay. Now you can you can say this in different ways. You can say I eat healthy because I want to lose weight. That's also an option, but this lesson simplifies that, okay? It's not necessary to always use because to give a reason, okay? It's not necessary. So we can use to plus the verb to give a reason. Why do you eat healthy? To lose weight. Why do you study English? Many reasons, right? Uh, I study English to what? To speak English. Okay, to speak English, okay. <laughs> you have seen? I study English to... To um, important? No, it needs to be a verb. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to read <laughs> English. <laughs> okay, to read <laughs> better in English, no? Yes. Yeah. And uh, in the case of Giancarlo, I think I study English to get to my. Finish. Tell me. You guys have the question. Uh, I study in English to study in the master. Yes, to get into graduate school. Okay. 
um, para entrar a la maestría es to get into graduate school. Graduate school es para, la, para los alumnos que ya se graduaron. O sea, regresan por la maestría o el doctorado. Okay. okay. I study English to get into gra to graduate school. I study English to graduate university. Muchas universidades te piden tener el B1 en el inglés. I study English to graduate university or to graduate from college. College, okay. Aprendemos inglés americano. I study English to, to graduate from college. Okay. I study English to get American girlfriends or American boyfriends. I study English to do international business. Do international business. Ok. En este caso, el to es como el para cuando quieres dar una explicación de algo. Estudio inglés para hablar inglés. Estudio inglés para leer mejor en inglés. Estudio inglés para meterme en la escuela de bla, bla, bla. Estudio inglés para graduarme. I study English to graduate. Ok. Y muchos aquí se confunden porque el para generalmente es por, ¿no? Pero cuando lo usas aquí para dar una razón, you use to plus the verb, not for. Do you understand? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I had that conf confusion before, but now, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So now I want you to do this, look. On the exam, there is going to be a question like this. What is going to be the correct answer here? To get money. To get yes. money. The. Yes, to get money. I need to go to the bank to get money. Okay, that is the only correct answer. All right? Yes, now, correct. That is the first objective from this lesson. To give reasons using two plus verb. All right, the next one is to give opinions. Are you ready? Yes, are you ready for the next topic? Yes. Yes. No. Ah. Oh. There, there, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Screen. <laughs> the next one, to give opinions. Okay, adjectives. Um, Here are some common adjectives. Nice, hard. Um, in this case, hard is not like difficult. Duro. No, no, no. Um, hard is what? Difficult. Difficult. All right. Nice, hard, interesting. What else? Uh, here are some common ones. Easy. Very good. Um, Easy and important. Okay. You can say fun. You can say expensive. Expensive. Cheap. cheap. Right? Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful is a nice one. Okay. Now, all of these are adjectives. All right? adjectives, no? 
Yeah, and you can use these adjectives to give opinions. For example, it's nice to drive on Boulevard de las Naciones. And Manu, Boulevard de las Naciones in Acapulco is, um, it's, a, it's a large highway, a, a big highway. It's, it's, it's beautiful. You, there are a lot of beautiful trees, plants. It's clean. Huh. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's really nice. Okay. That's, that's my opinion. Maybe for you, no, I don't like it because the traffic. Oh, I don't like it because the people are cleaning your, your windows and your windshield. I don't know. I can also say it's easy to learn English. That's my opinion. It's easy to learn English, but you need to be patient. That's, that's the difficult part, being patient, in my opinion. Nobody is patient. Nobody wants to wait 16 months to learn English. 14 months to learn English. It's important to yes. study English. Yes, it's important to study English to you. That is your opinion. I like that. I like that. Can, I, can everybody give me an opinion? Thank you, Joaquin. Giancarlo, Manu? <clears throat> I'm thinking. Um, it's good to study English for teacher. You repeat that? It's good to study English for future. For the future. Yeah. For the future. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's cheap to travel on March. It's cheap to travel in March? Yes. Really? Yes. In for uh, for to to Spain in March, uh, my ticket was uh, cheap. In comparison with other months. Okay, okay. Uh, how can you tell me the price? Yes, the, the last year. Last year. The, huh? the last year, the ticket, uh, the basic. It was um, eleven, eleven, once mil pesos. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Thousand, yes. A March. round trip. Uh, y regreso, how do you say? Yeah, round trip. R round, yes. Yes, a round. round trip. A round trip. Only eleven thousand. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Once once mil quinientos. Yeah. Uh, uh, in other months, um, more of fifteen. The basic ticket. Wow, man. Yes. To, for my wife to come to Mexico from the United States, very close. It was 13,000. No, yeah, yeah. But Expensive. I know you can get it cheaper, but we had it for, it was not flexible. We needed it specifically for one day and specifically for one day. But yes. Wow, 11,000 to Spain? Good. Depend too much the the I don't remember a uh, fecha. Depends too much the date. Yes, the date. So it depends the on date, the date. The date in all the year. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, thank you for the information. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. It's nice to learn from my students. Like in this example, it's nice to learn from my students. Okay. Well, do you understand this? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now, to make this in, into a question, it's easy. 
It's very easy. You just invert the subject and the verb. Okay. So if you want to make it's nice to learn from my students into a question, you change the position of the verb and the subject. In this case, is it? It is. Changes to is it? Is it nice to learn from my students? And that's a question, okay? Remember, when you want to change a sentence into a question, you invert the first verb with the subject. Is that clear? Yes or no? Yes. No. No? You had seen? Ah, oh, you had seen. Yeah. No, 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 no. For, for you, yeah. Look, yes. yes or no? Ah, escuché que si ya podía borrar. <laughs> okay, okay. No. No, ya. Yeah. Do you understand this? Ah, uh, yes, teacher. Giancarlo, do you understand this? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And this is unit seven, lesson A. Now, on the exam, you need to be very careful, okay? Because I'm going to write something like this. It's and the answers are gonna be it's nice for go, it's nice go. Um it's nice to go and it's nice to going. And and what is gonna be the correct answer? The letter C. Letter C. It's nice, nice to, to go. go. Yes. In this case, do not use the verb ing. No, no, no. Use the verb in infinitive form. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. And that is lesson A from unit seven. Let's go to the next one. Um, you need to learn the vocabulary. Okay, the vocabulary is important because on, on the exam, I will put something like, I'm going camping. I'm going camping or I'm going to the beach. What do I need to take? Okay, now, if I say I'm going to the beach, I need to take maybe a towel, a bathing suit, maybe some sunglasses, but I'm not going to take a flashlight. I can, but it's weird. I can take a hair dryer, but it's weird, you know? So I'm gonna ask you questions uh, about, you know, logic. So make sure that you learn these words right here. Bathing suits, sandals, towel, brush, hair dryer, makeup, shampoo, okay? Do you have any questions about these words right here or they're easy? Teacher, how do you say traje de baño pero para hombre? Swimming trunks or only trunks. Okay. Trunks. Okay. okay, let's continue. Now, in this lesson, we learn how to give advice. Okay. The most common way. To give advice is you should okay that is the most common way to give advice 
Now, if I want to say, uh, let's see, this is the situation. I want to lose 10 kilos for my wedding. It's in six months. Okay. It's in six months. Eat. No. Uh -huh. um, ah, yes. You should eat healthy. You should eat healthy. Yeah, in the negative form, you shouldn't. You shouldn't eat sugar. <laughs> sugar. Sugar. Or you shouldn't eat pan dulce. Oh my gosh. You shouldn't eat Oreo cake. Tell me more advice. You should exercise. Okay. Now use a different use a different thing to give me advice. For example, you, you could you need to. Oh, okay. Uh, you need to, you need to exercise. Exactly. Okay. okay. You need to exercise. Now, obviously, obviously, you need to exercise is more direct. You know, Nesita said it's kind of direct. So, um, Maybe that's not the best option, but it's an option, okay? You can also say you could go jogging. You could go jogging. That's fine. Okay? Yes. Now, uh, what, one of the, the ways that I love to give advice and suggestions, let me, let me write that for you. Because the, the objective for unit seven lesson B is giving advice and suggestions, okay? Dando consejos y sugerencias. In my opinion, the best way to give advice is with negative questions. For example, if I say, why don't you, why don't you come to the gym with me? ¿Por qué no vienes a gimnasio conmigo? Now, I like negative questions like this, because it manipulates the brain, you know, it's a question. So there is no pressure for the other person. Yes, like an option. Yes, it's like an option. Why don't you come to the gym with me? It sounds better than you should, you should come to the gym with me. If I give advice, I will always give the negative question. It's better. Okay. Now on, on the exam, you need to memorize these expressions okay you need to memorize the expressions now let me give you an example from the test I'm hungry. What should I do? I'm hungry. What should I do? I think you should. Uh-huh. 
Very good. I think you should what? I think you should go to restaurant. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. You should to check what you have in your fridge. You should checking what you have in your fridge. Or you should check what you have in your fridge. Which one is the correct answer? A. Um, C, the letter C. The letter C, yes. You are seeing, oh my gosh. It is C. After should, never, 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 never put two. Never, okay? It should always be should okay. verb. No two, no four, nothing, 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 nothing. All right. So, so give me, give me some advice. I'm bored. I don't have a TV or money. What? What can I do? What can I do? Give me some advice. Use the examples in the grammar chart. Okay. I'm bored. I don't have a TV or money. What can I do? Hmm? It's good idea to to uh, how do you say coming up <laughs> to go for a walk. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Giancarlo, give me some advice. What what is Bowen teacher? Uh, aburrido. Okay. Mm, or it's it's a good idea to something different. Use a different expression. Where are the different instructions? In front of the Yeah. Okay. I have one. Come on. Um, why don't you read a magazine? Very good. Thank you. Oh, yes, it's a question. Don't forget. Don't forget to to go to the beach. Okay. And and what does that mean in Spanish, Giancarlo? No te olvides de ir a la playa. Okay. Sería raro en esa situación. Yo estoy diciendo que estoy yes. aburrido, no tengo dinero. Ni yes. Yes. Uh, um, other, uh, we need to cook. Okay. 
You need to cook. No, pero we. No se puede decir we need to cook. Oh, we. Oh, okay. We need to cook. Um, cooks. How do you say salchichas? <laughs> Sausages. Sausages. <laughs> Sausages. Okay. With um, jitomate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and chipotle. And chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good idea. Okay, okay. Giancarlo, do you have a different one? Don't say, don't forget to. Let's change this. Use another expression. Hmm. And take and basically and How do you say? Okay, take a bicycle and ride for. Okay. Take a bicycle and ride in Zapata for fun. Maybe. Yes. Okay. You can ride to ride. All right. That's good. This is this is how you give advice and how you give suggestions. Okay, you need to remember these expressions. Do you wanna? Why don't you? It's a good idea to take. Oh, I'll put two right here. Take. Don't forget to. You could. You need to. All right. All right. Okay, I'm going to erase it. Okay, that's it. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, let's go. Now I want you to go to Unit Eight, Lesson A. Possessive adjectives. Manu, were you here for this lesson? Or no, Manu? No, teacher. No. Who's no. No? No. Okay. So who's blah, blah, blah is this or Whose blah, blah, blah are these? Okay. Now, no solamente tiene que ser this, también puede ser that, this or that, or these and those. It's okay. The, diff the difference is that this and these are close and that and those are far maybe like over there far close i can touch it i can touch the things far i can't touch it. okay now if, if i say who's Whose cell phone is this? I can say, what, what can you say? It's mine. <laughs> okay, well, it's mine. Yes, 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 it's mine. Or it's my cell phone okay it's mine or it's my cell phone all 
All right. All right. Um, what what is the difference? Well, let me erase this. It's my cell phone, or it's mine. Which one sounds better? Mm, it's my it's, cell phone or it's mine? It's mine uh, because don't repeat the same word, cell phone. Exactly. Very good, very good. So if I say my cell phone, it's better if I say mine. Okay, your cell phone yours right her cell phone hers Her. his cell phone is what hers his and ah, okay. our cell phone is what ours, ours. Oh. ours. <laughs> and <laughs> their cell phone is what theirs theirs all right theirs everything on the left is a possessive adjective let's see one two three four five one two three four five On the left side, I have possessive adjectives. Okay. On the left side, I have possessive adjectives. Over here, on the right side, those are what? Possessive. Objective. No, possessive. Pronoun. Pronoun. Okay. Now, remember, a pronoun is a noun. Okay. A pronoun is a noun. So, a possessive pronoun is also a noun. Therefore, it's not correct. It's not correct to put another noun after it. And let me explain, let me explain. So all of these right here, on the left side, these are possessive adjectives, all right? And on the right side, these are possessive pronouns. If I ask you a question like, whose shoes are those? Whose shoes are those? I can say it's, well, sorry, not it's, they're my, shoes or their what their what mine mine but i cannot say their mine shoes that is not correct okay okay do not say that why Exactly. You cannot use a noun after mine. You cannot put an object after mine. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, remember that. After pronouns, 
No object. After pronouns, do not use an object. Please take a picture of this. Yes, no. teacher. On the exam, on the exam, it's gonna be like this. There, I'm gonna confuse you. It's gonna be, I'm just gonna be confusing. Who's? Okay. And in the responses, I'm going to put something like this. Watch. Dress, shoes, no, shoes, no, sneakers, or the purse. What would be the correct answer? Sneakers. Sneakers, why? Because it's um, um, plural. Because it's plural, exactly. Nice. Now, whose jacket is that? It's it's mine jacket. It's jacket mine. Is mine or it's mine? It's mine. It's mine. Letter it's D. Mine. Yes. Why why not C? Doesn't have why one. Why is it not Bueno, no tiene Exactly. Okay. It doesn't have a subject. No subject. Okay. No subject. Now, hold on. Let me turn on my camera. It looks very dark. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's return to the book. Go to lesson B. Okay. Adjective order. You need to learn the adjective order. Now, I I have never done this, but let's let's make this into an abbreviation. O S S C N M. O S S C N M. That is the adjective order. Opinion. Yes. Opinion. Sign. Size. Size. Shape. 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 Color. Color. Nationality. 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 And material. Material. All right. That is the adjective order. In the book, well, not in the book, in the in the exam, I can say those are some shoes. Right answer. C. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. 
Yes, nice black, okay? Because we have nice is an opinion and black is a color, okay? Cool. Now, uh, also, do you remember one and ones? Yes. yes. One and ones? Um, one, ones. Which one is singular? Which one is plural? One is sing singular. Singular. And one is plural. It's plural. Excellent. So if I ask you, um, which, which, Sneakers, do you like? You can say, I like the one. Okay, hold on. I like the Nice black ones. Nice yes. black ones. Yes, exactly. It's this because they are plural. Sneakers are plural. All right. All right. That's good. Questions? Not sure. No. Now, no. What? Why do we use one and ones? Why? Uh, The, Why is it good? The same reason uh, before, because not repeat, not yes. to be repetitive. Yes, exactly. To not repeat words. That's very important. Okay. Right. Let's continue. Can I erase this? Yes. 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 The zero one or one is the. Is it formal or, or is it formal? It's, it's, it's neutral. It's neutral. ¿Lo, lo pudiera escribir en algo académico o algo así? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's neutral. Let's see. Now we're going to this. Are you having a bad week? Oh, right. So tell me, tell me. We have two things, okay? The past continuous and the simple past, okay? Remember the simple past is for a completed action, okay, a completed action and the past continuous is for a past ongoing well an ongoing past action so it's ongoing it, it's continuous it doesn't stop and there is also something important we have the long action and we have the short action. Which one is the short action? The simple past. The simple past, exactly. This is the short action. And this is the longer action, okay? So, 
Let's see this. What would be the correct um, answers here? What would be the correct answers? A is a permission or confrontation? Sorry, what? Bueno, creo que sería wash dishes, wash the dishes, and I heard. I think is when I was washing dishes, I heard a weird sound. Yes, I heard a weird sound. Giancarlo, what are you talking about? What are you talking okay. about? Come on. Yes, what are you talking about? The cable. Ah, no, okay. Estaba viendo los apuntes y no entendía si era si era como para pedir este un este Bueno, aquí lo, tengo, aquí lo tengo anotado como un permiso o como un favor. Oh, esa, esa es otra lección con, ah, okay. con um, wood. Con okay. wood, ¿no? Wood, no, yeah. mind, con mind. Do you mind? Would you mind? Yes. But that's different, that's different. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. This is the past continuous in the simple past, the long action and the short action. All right, the next one is for you, Atim. Yes. Um, I I was listened to music. I was good. Listened. I see. Uh huh. No. Okay. Let's see. The past continuous. The past continuous is was or were what? and the verb ing. Okay? Was or were and the verb ing. Yes, yes. I was listening. Yeah. I was I listening was. to music and my cell phone split. And your cell phone what? It's Okay. Explode is a regular verb. Um, so, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know the pronunciation in the past? Yeah. No? Okay, look. No. Explode is regular. It is regular. Normal. Explore it? Exploded. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Why? Um, because termina uh, termina termin en d, uh -huh. and extra se le agrega un extra syllable. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. Nice. All right. Now, um, in the exam, you don't need to write. You don't need to write the verb. The verb will come in the answers. Okay, so don't worry. In the exam, you will probably have something like this. I saw. Why? Um, because it's the short uh, action, and the short action is um past, simple past. Exactly. And a is simple past. No. No. It's, B. Um, no. No. See? Yes. No. No, no, no. It's the continuous. past continuous. Yes, yes, not the simple past. Okay. Now this this um, grammar is good for anecdotes. Okay, telling stories. Now can I erase this? Yeah. Yes. Go to the next one. Now, in, in lesson B, let's look at this, lesson B, unit nine, lesson B, the objective from this unit was to ask questions in the simple past and past continuous and also to use reflexive pronouns, okay? Now, in, in, the, in the simple past, it's, it's very easy very, very, very easy to ask a question. You have the question word plus did plus the subject plus the verb. And that is the simple past. Simple past. Now, in the continuous form, it's very similar. The question word plus was or were plus the subject plus the verb ing. And this is the past continuous. Okay, it is the past continuous. What changes? What changes between the first formula and the second formula? What do you notice? What do you see? What is the difference? El verbo to be and um, verb ing. Exactly. 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 So. Was and were, and verb ing. 
and in the top, it is a little different. We hit the and the verb. But the other things stay the same. Now I put QW in parentheses. QW is question word, like what, when, where, how, who, etc. Okay. Now I put it in parentheses because it is optional. You know, you don't always use the question word. You use the question word when it is an information question, or sometimes people say an open question. Okay. But in the in the other cases, it is a closed question. Let's begin with the simple past. Did you go to the store today? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Okay, Giancarlo, did you go to the store today? No, I didn't. You had seen, did you go to the store today? No, I didn't. Manu, how about you? Did you go to the store today? No, I didn't. All right. Now, did you go to the store today? Cool. Well, if you didn't go to the store, then what did you do today? What did you do today? Me? I went to Shedrawi and washed some clothes. How about you? I stayed working at home. Okay. You got seen Giancarlo, what did you do today? I, I take my, I, no. Ah. I took, take, took. took my class on some. Class or classes? Classes on um, some. And soon. All right. Cumpleaños. All right. Giancarlo, what did you do, man? I, I stood in for the full test. All right. I studied for the TOEFL. Yes. Nice. Yes. Print test. Your team. Did you study? What happened? For the TOEFL test? Um. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um. Were you, were you having lunch at one p.m.? Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Yatin, were you having lunch at 1 p.m.? No, I wasn't. I have lunch at um, 8 a.m. Lunch? Uh, yes. Or breakfast? I don't know, breakfast and lunch is uh, 11. <laughs> oh, what? Healthy girl, healthy girl. Yeah. <laughs> Were you having lunch at 1 p.m.? No, I wasn't. Okay. Uh, I have a, I, I was have, having, I have lunch at 2 p.m. Cool, cool, cool. Mando, how about you? Were you having lunch at 1 p.m.? No, I wasn't. I have my lunch at 4 p.m. Wow, that's late. 
Yes. Okay. What were you doing at 1 p.m.? For example, me, I was, I was washing clothes. What were you doing at 1 p.m.? You want to see? What? What were you doing at 1 p.m.? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I was talking um, my class. <laughs> oh, I was taking. Taking my okay. class. <laughs> Giancarlo, what were you doing at 1 p.m.? Uh, I was sleeping for 13 minutes. 13 minutes? No, no, no. Um, how do you say 30 in English? 30. 30. 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And Manu? Um, I, I was in a work meeting. Okay. I was in a meeting only. I was in a meeting. It was in a meeting. Okay, very good, very good. All right. Como, well, in Manu's case, he did not use the verb ing. Why? Because in that case, the verb is be, be in a meeting. You cannot say I was speaking in a meeting. That is weird. But I was in a meeting is correct. Okay. So yes, that is what you are going to say. I was in a meeting. Are there any questions with this? No. Okay. Now let me show you what the problems will be on the on the exam this is a little tricky on the exam i will say something like were you dancing at the party a yes i were b yes i did c Yes, I was, or D, yes, I dancing. Giancarlo, what is the correct answer? Yes, I was. Yes, I was, okay, yes, I was. That is the correct answer. Did you go to the party? A, yes, I did go. B, yes, I did. C, yes, I did. Okay. And D, yes, I go. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Very good. All right, that's gonna be the problems. And maybe, uh, what were you doing at 1 p.m.? Oh, that's too easy. What were you doing last night? A, I was Sleep, B, I sleep, C, I slept, or D, I was sleeping. What would be the correct answer? I was asleep. Oh, 
I was sleeping. I was slept. I do. I, I slept. <laughs> I slept. I, I am between A and D. A and D. Giancarlo, what do you say? Um, I slept. See? No, I was sleeping. I was sleeping because it's a long yeah. action. No, because it's doing. Doing. No? <laughs> uh -huh. We're oh, doing. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah. if the question is past continuous, the answer needs to be past continuous. The past what continuous. Doing. That's okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Okay, All right. Now let's look at the reflexive pronouns. Okay. Re reflexive pronouns only work. Oops. Reflexive pronouns only work if the subject and the object of a verb are the same. Let me repeat that. Reflexive. Pronouns only work if the subject and object of a verb are the same. Okay? Only, only in that case. For example, I see myself in the mirror. That's, that's correct. Because who is... The subject of C. What is the subject of C? I. 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 And what is the object of C? Myself. Myself. Exactly. Okay. If the subject and the object of a verb are the same, and yes. That is true. Let me make this bigger. I want I want you to look at it like this. Okay. So you see this um, the object and the subject are the same. The subject is I and the object is myself. Who is myself? Well, I is myself and myself is I. Okay, so it's the same thing. That's the only way. Now, a, a, lo a lot of people will make a mistake. I see me in the mirror. Is that correct? No. No. No, I see me in the mirror, no. Not correct. Ever. Okay. Now, on your exam, you will have options, or maybe you will have like a question like this about the reflexive pronouns. She only loves A. She, she self, himself, or herself. Or what would be the correct herself. answer? Herself. 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 herself, herself. So you need to, you know, memorize them. 
I, myself, you, yourself, he, himself, she, herself, we, ourselves, and they, themselves. Okay? Todas terminan, well, all of them end with self, 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 if they are singular. And if they are plural, selves, Shops. selves, all right? Yeah. Self, 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 selves, selves, if it is plural. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. There is, an, there is an exception with you, you, yourself, and you, yourself. Oh. Yourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends if the person is singular or plural. Okay. For example, if I'm speaking directly to Giancarlo, it's yourself. But if I'm speaking to all of you, like as a group, one, two, but you are the group, I say yourselves. Yes. Okay. So yourself, singular, yourselves, plural, if it is a group. All right. All right. Do you have any questions? No, not because. All right. Well, the exam is tomorrow. Please come to class early at six o'clock so I can explain the instructions and you can take the test. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, guys. Well, please study, 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 study tonight. Yes. Yes, Joti. Va a ser una hoja o cómo será? Uh, I will explain tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay, teacher. But Thank it's going to be A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, all right? Okay, teacher. Okay. You, you will, uh, uh, this video, subirás este video? Yes. Uh, okay, perfect. I will Thank upload you. the video tonight. Okay, teacher. Public, <laughs> public. Public. Public, para que todo el mundo la vea. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a great day. Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye.